The Brooklyn Museum and the Met have world-renowned collections of ancient Egyptian art. But now there's a new way to experience the beauty and wonder of the pharaoh's reign. In Midtown Manhattan, the tomb of King Tutankhamun has been meticulously recreated in a new exhibit called the Discovery King Tut. We met up with Egyptologist Nick Reeves for a tour. He pointed out how the famous tomb may have more secrets waiting to be uncovered. My name is Nick Reeves. I'm an Egyptologist associated with the University of Arizona Egyptian Expedition. The tomb of Tutankhamun was found in November 1922 by an English Egyptologist called Howard Carter. He was looking for a needle in a haystack and the fact that he managed to, to actually uncover the tomb is it was pretty, pretty miraculous really. And what he saw was, <laughs> was greater than anything he could possibly have imagined. It's probably the greatest archaeological discovery that's ever been made. It's got the search for buried treasure, it's got the discovery of, of buried treasure, it's got a sting in the tail with the so-called curse of Tutankhamun. It's just a great story and it's something that appeals to kids immediately, instinctively. The original pieces, because the way they're displayed in any museum uh, is as artworks. The exhibition that's currently in New York is set out to recreate the experience when they first found the tomb, where the pieces were found, what was piled on what, some impression of the, of the, of the small size of the tomb, how all this stuff was just crammed in really tight. The actual context of these pieces is the focus. Well, we're now standing in front of the replica of the mask of, of Tutankhamun. The original of this is in solid gold, it weighs around 25 pounds. This is one of my favorite pieces from Tutankhamun's tomb for the simple reason that it's the piece that everybody in the world knows and everybody in the world has seen, but Still, nobody has really recognized what's going on with this piece. It was found on the head of the mummy of Tutankhamun himself, um, so it's automatically been assumed that this was made for Tutankhamun himself. In fact, it wasn't made for Tutankhamun at all. The fact that the mask has got physically pierced earlobes suggests that it originally was fitted with earrings. Now, in ancient Egypt, in representations of kings, Earrings are not worn by men after maturity, only by women. And I was looking at the mask again uh, recently in Cairo. They turned the piece so that you could get a closer look at the inscription on it. And as it is now relit, we can see that the inscription has been changed. And the, you can actually see enough of the original inscription and the underlying name is in fact that of Nefertiti as co-regent of Akhenaten, who was Tutankhamun's father. We now have some evidence to suggest that the, the tomb as found by Carter was not, is not complete. There have been thermal imaging tests done and radar tests done of the walls and there does indeed seem to be something going on behind those walls. There are certain indications that lead me to believe was, is the burial chamber of, of Queen Nefertiti. I think what I'd say to kids, what I'd say to my colleagues is that we should never assume that we know everything about something like the tomb of Tutankhamun. Everybody's seen it, everybody knows it. We have to look, we have to look closely and actually establish what they really have to tell us and that turns out to be, to be a great deal. The Discovered King Tut is now open at premier exhibitions in Midtown Manhattan through May 1st. As always, visit metrofocus.org for more details.